great day because we're in Mumbai, we're feeling healthy, and most importantly, feeling hungry, finally. There hasn't been nearly enough Indian food in our lives the last week because we haven't been feeling too well. That's all changing today, so we're going on a food tour. So last night I was on the computer trying to plan like a little bit of a DIY food tour, trying to figure out what we should eat here in Mumbai, and then an angel messaged us on Instagram. A local girl said she would take us around and show us all the best street food here in Mumbai, so we're heading to meet her now. which is this dosa stand. I told Kavita that we had dosa in the airport and she said, it is nothing like this. <laughs> Apparently airport dosa doesn't even compare, which makes sense. Looks amazing. Dosa. So dosa is basically the crust and it's mainly rice with some dal. They flatten it out on this big pan and then they put toppings on top and it looks like a pizza. But then they roll it up and cut it and make it look so cool. We have cheese and so many veggies in here, which is my favorite. I see some cilantro, some onion, capsicum, tomato. Okay, so how do you eat it? Take it out like this. Dip it in the chutneys. Yeah, it's like an Indian burrito. Like a really thin <laughs> Indian burrito. That is so good. The cheese is like melted to perfection and the outside is so crunchy. Oh my gosh, I love it. Beautiful. Taking an Instagram of this right now. So we just walked right next door from we just walked two steps from where we were to this other food stand. This is dahi puri. Dahi means curd, which is this white yogurty stuff. And then puri is the bowl that it comes with, and it's made out of flour. He stuffed potatoes in it, and then put these little crunchy things on top, and some cilantro, and some spices. Look how great this is. We've seen people eating these in every city we've been to so far. They're super popular. They have all different kinds of fillings. The cook at this stall just told me to eat it faster because it was going bad. Just pick it one. Just pick it up. Oh, just pick it up? Yeah. Here we go. One bite. Mm. Mm. That is so amazing. The cold yogurt is like so refreshing. It like coats your mouth right before the spice hits. So it's a really good combination. The potatoes are almost kind of sweet. What is this sweet brown sauce? tamarind chutney? Tamarind chutney. Oh my gosh. The combination of the cold yogurt with the sweet tamarind chutney is so good with the spicy curry on top. That was so great. Now we're heading to our third stop where we're trying what up bow. What up bow. Mumbai staple food. <gasps> yes. Kavita's favorite bada pop place. She said nobody knows about it. Not many people around. Looks legit. So from what I've observed, Kavita can correct me if I'm wrong, this is just a big fried potato. It was cooked in this flaming hot oil and the guys just touch it like right out of the oil. It blows my mind. 
Mm. Mm. That is so amazing. The garlic chutney is so good and the potatoes have this delicious, like freshly deep fried crunch on the outside and then the middle of it just melts in your mouth. And then this is such soft bread. The potato has some herbs in it and so it's like kind of salty. The next dish that we're trying is called bell curry and you basically have these super thick flour chips and then they mix it with puffed rice, some of the yellow crunchy things that were on the other curry dish that we tried and then there's onion, there's cilantro, there's potatoes. So it's almost like like the Indian version of chips and dip. It's just like a crunchy snack all rolled up in paper. This, <laughs> yeah. you keep eating and in the last you finish this off. Oh, okay. So I almost made a huge mistake. You have to use your chip like a spoon. So yeah. you don't eat every chip. Ah. Otherwise, I was going to run out of chips and I was just going to basically have the dip left over. So that was the improper way. That's the proper way. That's why we have locals. Hi. <laughs> All right, moving right along, getting back in the car. Next up. Next up, we have stopped for a dish that I did not know existed until we came up to the sandwich stand. We just ordered masala toast, and basically it's a sandwich. It has a base of like this spicy potato mixture, and then they just piled vegetables on top of it. And then they take the entire sandwich, they put it in this little sandwich compressor that they cook it with over an open flame, and it just becomes perfectly toasted. This one's really good. Oh yeah, they finish off the top with just a ton of butter over the bread. It weirdly almost has a pizza flavor. And I think, I saw them salting it with a lot of stuff and it must have been garlic salt. Yeah, it's just delicious. I normally don't like beetroot, but this is fantastic. Okay, Kavita asked if we wanted something to help us digest our food and she gave us this little pack of stuff. Hajmula. Hajmula. Do you just eat one? Yeah. It smells weird. So you chew it up and swallow it? Just lick it, just like, just like you eat a chocolate. Oh! I don't like that at all. <laughs> you can spit it oh, out if you it wish. it tastes like a rotten egg. <laughs> I kind of need to chew it up. I think I'm gonna spit it out. It's like sour. Just open the window. Spit it out. <laughs> Now you try. It's not just some kind of joke. No, you get it anywhere, like in the small shops. Oh, you seem a bit over dramatic. It doesn't smell that bad. Oh, gosh. Uh huh. That tastes the way sulfur smells. You know the way like rotten eggs smell. This tastes like a meeting sulfur.
So for one of our last stops on the tour, we have come down to Juhu Beach. It is a Saturday night, and this place is absolutely packed. I've never been to a beach with this many people, and we are currently in search for the food that I've been most excited to try since we've been here. I don't know what it's called. I'll buy me. So for our last savory dish of the tour, we are trying pav bahi. And from the way I understand it, they've basically just taken a bunch of vegetables and mashed them together into this beautiful red sauce. The main ones being tomato, potato, onion, and capsicum. And it comes with this buttered soft bread. And you basically just eat it like you would like a breadstick and marinara sauce. You just go for it. You get the bread and the sauce. Oh. It's so good. It's just like the Indian version of breadsticks and marinara sauce that you would get as like a side dish when you ordered a pizza in the U.S. Like that's that's how I think of it. I don't think we can fit anything else in our stomach. You be the plan. The perfect food tour. We had a great time. The best thing about it though is nothing we ate was more than two dollars. I think the entire night was ten dollars for everything. Yeah. Love India. And we have eaten for like five days. <laughs> now it's time for the usual food coma. The post food tour food coma. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. My pleasure. Cute kid on a that might be what it is. Yeah. Salty, slightly sour, sulfur. Do you eat these? Yeah. Okay. The rest of you I... out the window. Are you sorry for calling me dramatic? You made it. The smell's not as bad as you made it sound. Um, you just don't have a good smell. I can smell the way it tastes. The taste. Oh. <laughs>